Hello everybody, it's Mystical Gamer signing in Seb. Welcome back. Today we are doing episode six. He who tames the iron horse. Let's start. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the claw gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. And that can be good. Oh well, so Sly Cooper and the gang, in! He who tames the iron horse, yeah! Sorry, I couldn't help but add a yeah to that. Alright, so, as always, we're going to start off with Sly. Now, this level has a few differences, but first, let's have a look at the equipment. Also, the level sounds a bit weird during then, it was because I boosted the audio. So, Bentley has now a hover pack which he can use, which I would severely recommend, it's so much fun. Alright, uh, we have the Berserker Charge. This is basically, um, I'm trying to think of a, I, of someone who's used it, uh, I can't really think, but it's really powerful. Oh wait, no, Raging Inferno Flop. Now that hurts. Stealth Slide. I'm going to say this now, Stealth Slide shit, Silent Obliteration, however. It's also known as the silent takedown, so instead of, um, yeah, instead of us kicking the guards into the air and slamming into the ground, instead, Sly simply runs round them until they create, he creates nothing but a black hole. Alright, as per usual, we've got to only use Sly. I've got a lead on the clockwork party. Head through town and out into the wilderness. Wait, we're in Canada. Is that what I think it is? It's a moose! Okay, all we need is maple syrup, and we are completing all the stereotype. <laughs> Come on, find me some syrup. Find me some syrup, baby! Oh, bug up, bug up, ah, fuck it. Moose, moose! Wait, wait, is this? No, it's not syrup, but it's... Oh, I think that's going to be used for something later. Oh. Alright, so we got to head there for cabin crimes. Alright, again, I actually don't know where all the freaking bottles are, so... Is that a platypus? You gotta be... If you... If we call you Par Perry, can we get away with, like, copyright infringement of Disney? Nah. Nah. And oh, fuck! Alright, now something I actually need to point out is the trades on this level! Oh, phew. I didn't... I thought I was gonna get myself run over. There are trains, a lot of rivers, and a freaking bear! Bear won't cross the river, but it'll attract everything else between it. Ah, fuck. Thank you, bear. God damn, bear. Okay. <laughs> if I can't lose this thing soon, I'm gonna cut back to when I lose it. Okay. But yeah, bear. There's a bear with it here. But that's not all. In fact, there's actually one more thing that's a pain in the ass. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? 
That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bassan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Surprisingly, that's supposed to be a Koopa move, but how Sly doesn't know this is beyond me. If the train had come then, we would have been dead. Okay, and beavers. There's freaking beavers here. Alright, I've got barely any health, so let's get going. Alright, now this one's interesting because this actually also scared me as a kid. The freaking bison himself. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. Alright, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio here. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you jump always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. We saw you cover this troglodyte. You've already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. Of course, I gotta keep the plans hidden. Stuff them in my three trophy bass. I might be persuaded to give you a peek. That'll do fine. By the way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes! The blimp's hypnotist wavelengths conform to the specs drawn up by the Contessa, and Dimitri, before his unfashionable capture, did a bang-up job of distributing spice through his nightclub. What the hell? Sounds like all you're missing is some northern light electricity! You're correct, sir. Yours is the final piece to the puzzle, the missing link. Once the battery is aboard, nothing will stand in the Claw Gang's way. Paris will be ours. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I guess I'll be seeing you at the end of the week. Right. Farewell, Bison. Stiff up a lip. Ta-ta. Alright, I think I figured out what I need to do to get up there. There we go. Alright, so we get yeah, on little hint end, yes. Basson wants the other pieces of the clockwork. Clockwork, but more specifically the brain. But if Clockwork if uh, Basson has the lion's share, he said he has three train he has his trains going all day and all night. You can't have your trains run on the same engine. I've tried. So, what does this mean? Basson has three clockwork parts in this zone alone. Okay, there we go. Sly, did you hear that? We saw it's hidden the Iron Horse blueprints in his trophy bass. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and steal those plants. And, well, we're up here anyway to grab the blueprints. Excellent! Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. All we gotta do is sneak and follow him around, and you're going on. 
figure eight pattern, and voila! Whew. Okay, this episode's a bit longer than usual, but then again, I did fuck around on the way here, so, you know. <laughs> oh, God, it's good to be back. After analyzing the soft decorating Problem is, I don't know where they are, Bentley. And I'm also afraid of getting run over by a train. If you catch me drift. You freaking turtle. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yink. Okay. Alright, so there's the low waypoint, and we can get to it by train. Yeah, literally. That is all we're going to be doing. Is these train tracks are both useful and hazardous, but they become more less and less hazardous as we go through the zone. Each uh, zone has... well, each uh, part, as you know, you've got the first part after this this part, which is, you, you know, the explanation stage, you know, grabbing a few things. Then there's the finish up stage, then that's the big heist. And I think in the... both stages you have a chance to take out one of the you know one of the trains so you grab one clockwork piece per you know three levels but you need to do two other missions beforehand so mini heists before the big one yep, just like I thought get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints attention all cabin guards I've heard tell from the boys at Ponderosa cabin there's someone been in my head blueprints too bad. I'm lo lo I'm stealing Iron Horse Blueprint number two. You also don't want to jump off. And yes, Maple Syrup! Ah, it was correct. Oh god, I'm gonna have to phone up uh, Tash and point out that the stereotype lives in all video games. Uh, a friend of mine's boyfriend lives in Canada, so <laughs> I always take the joke, and he's he's always surrounded by moose and she's maple syrup. But now she's going to absolutely freaking love this. Might give her a cool cool in the end of the series, and just like say, "Yep, by the way, the syrup, the syrup, the syrup thing is real." Actually, but then again, what would I? <laughs> God, Canada and the syrup. You know what? I actually always wanted to. Head to, I head to America every now and again, but I wouldn't mind actually going to Canada when I think about it. It's uh, nice and it's cold, sure, and I'm not too fond of the cold, but because I can't insulate my body heat for shit, but I think it'd be fun. Alright, now note, I'm not. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna nick this bottle. I'll, find, I'll do it again afterwards as soon as we've done this, the other, thir other 29 bottles. So just note. No platypus. No Perry. I'm not playing with you as a platypus. No. All right. The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Be careful. Just steal it and you run. I don't have enough time for this. And I'm out of here. Man, that was actually quite fun. Oh man, I missed this game. Armed with all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the iron horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. Shouldn't take long, my ass. It's the top of a frickin' mountain. But then again, this is Sly Cooper. What do you expect Sly to say? Ah, oh, fuck out. I'm just gonna steal the balls as I go along. Two weapon hard. No, no, Mr. Bear. No, Mr. Bear. I'm not. I'm not playing with you. But that bear is important for a mission later. And goddamn visual glitching. At least it doesn't actually affect the video. <laughs> Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Fuck! Yeah, this ice is gonna be a nightmare for later because, yeah, as you can probably see, me just landing on it, it cracked. 
Alright, we'll try again now. What I actually like is that the river isn't instantly lethal, it just implied that, you know. Sorry, Moose. Sorry, Brutal Moose, but I'm stealing your, your uh, cash. Brutal Moose? Oh, god damn it. Why am I quoting YouTubers that I don't even watch that often? Could have used that earlier. Okay, now that's just mean. This is great! We've got total access to the train's GPS system. It's all on my computer. Head back to the same house. I'll crunch some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. Yeah. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. That's as a point out. Bentley will have a plan for each mission. But, right now, let's see how much that ruby is worth. 122 gold. And unfortunately, that could buy you some of the smaller upgrades. I'm not going to buy anything but Bentley's hover pack and Sly's Silent Obliterate. I know I have mis been missing out uh, Murray, but just Murray's strength alone makes him, him a really awesome character. So, next time, we will be doing, as Sly, the 100 bottle, well, not the 100 bottle run, the 13, the remaining 27 bottles in the bottle run. And you can guess where we're going to start. Alright, guys. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys th later. Ciao.